Hi everyone, welcome to the AWS Blogger. You've heard of OBS Ninja, and if you want to learn more about OBS Ninja version 14, take a look here. Today I'm going to give you five tips for OBS Ninja Director. Let's take a look at those, but before we begin, don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that notification button. The first tip is two features combined into one. Ask for display names and show display names. For the purpose of this tutorial or for our tips, I'm using two separate browsers, Chrome and Firefox. On Chrome, I'll be using the director and on Firefox, I'll be using the guest URL. The only thing I want to pay attention here is the add group chat to OBS. And let's set up our first room. With our first room set up, I'm going to be talking about the guest invite only for the duration of this tutorial or tips. Within the customization, the first two that we want to take a look at is ask for display name and show display names. You notice that these need to be selected before you can share the customized link or URL. Once they're selected, the link will change. Let's see what it looks like from a guest perspective. Copy the link and share it. I'm prompted for a display name. This will be my name that shows up within my feed. As you can see, I'm just showing up here on there with the AWS blogger on my feed and with the director, you'll notice that it does show up over here on the top. The next tip is another two features combined into one, mute guest and mute guest in the scene. What does mute guest look like? If you notice in the guest feed, the little microphone's going to be lighting up green every time I talk. But also on the director side, you're going to notice the, the green light right here in the corner, what I call an indicator of the audio, is also lighting up each time that I talk. If I want to mute the guests themselves so that they can't talk within the group chat, that's going to be happening over here with multiple people, I'd like to hit the mute guest button. Now the green indicator won't light up at all here or over here that they're talking. So I don't even really know that they're communicating. I'm thinking in a future release that this should show the mute button. I've unmuted my guest and the green light button should start to come back on and indicate that the guest is talking. What we have for the mute guest in the scene, up here you have a link for the manual and link for the automated scene that you can add to OBS where everybody will be joined or showing up within your stream. If I want to mute my guests in those scenes, I click on the button. It will still look like they're talking here behind in the group chat, but in the stream, their audio will not be displayed or you can't hear it. Tip number three involves messaging your guests within the group chat that only they can see. Now, as a director, you can send a message to each guest individually, letting them know what's happening. Say you want to let a specific guest know that they're on in five minutes or going live. After we click on the message part, you're live in five. The message will pop up here for a short period of time, then it will go away. But if you look down at the bottom, there's an indicator that you have unread messages. Another tip is to disable your self preview. And the reason you would do that is to limit the CPU or basically save some CPU or GPU on your end of everything. But what it does is it doesn't allow you to see your camera or yourself talking. You have to know that you're live, either that your camera indicates it or be aware of it. Disable self preview, copy the URL, and let's take a look. Your video will show up on the director feed or the group chat, but you will not see it on your side of things. Let yourself know that your audio will still be going across with the green indicator and your video is still streaming. This will limit some of the resources on your local computer. In tip number five, I'd like to talk about the transfer the guest button, which is probably the best feature of OBS Ninja director panel and for live stream of events. Don't forget, stay tuned afterwards because I got some additional information and maybe some bonus features. Probably one of the best features about OBS Ninja and OBS Ninja Director is that I have the ability to transfer my guests from one room to another as long as the password's the same. I've set up two rooms. One's called AWS OBS Test and AWS OBS Test 2. I'm going to transfer myself from the test room to the test 2 room. Very simple and easy. Click the transfer. Click OK, and you'll notice that I've moved from one 
room or one group chat to another. Maybe you have a green room from one guest to another preparing them for a live stream. Two of the bonus features that I like to talk about is to display your raised hand and hide the settings button. Let's see them in action. Looking down below, I have a raise hand button. If I click on raise hand, yellow indicator over here on the director side says that the guest has raised their hand. Now they can communicate either through messages or through audio. If you look on the guest as well, notice that the settings button is not available for them to change any settings throughout their environment. There's always more features to come for OBS Ninja, and this is just version 14, and it's constantly being released or updated. So stay tuned and look down below in the description to find out how you can follow along for OBS Ninja releases. Also, in the next release, I think I'm going to talk specifically about the OBS Ninja Director audio options. As always, take a look at it and see all the customizations that you can make for your stream. Don't forget to hit that like, subscribe, and the notification button for my next releases.